intellectually, it is understandable how we are all connected. Intellectually, it's also understandable how we are individuals. How we reconcile that is can be a dilemma. So intellectually, we can see that, you know, we all drink the same water, it flushes out of us, our bodies are always spitting off cells. We've talked about this at length many times on our channel and in person when we get together every Sunday about 1.15 and what that means, where does our soul dwell? Uh, is this body a vehicle to house our consciousness? And if this is a, a storehouse of our consciousness, this bodily temple, then where is it? Because our bodies are constantly changing, they're evolving, and then we see how we're connected because we're all sharing the same water, we're all feeling and a part of the the pulsating energy of the earth, which actually exists. The earth has its own frequency. Our bodies have their own frequency and they resonate with the earth and with the broader universe. And we are all sharing the same air. We all need other people to do certain services and provide certain goods. We do something specialized. These other people use our service or good and you know so on. We need a community and we're all actually physically connected to what we eat and our waste and how everything gets regenerated but then intellectually you think okay well if I'm, my body is is really a fluid it's constantly flowing in and out and it's always changing discarding waste adding new things every time we eat discarding the old ones the cells are replicating so what does that mean for the individual if we're all physically connected in this energetic soup, if you will? How do we separate ourselves, live our own lives, have our own problems, have these, uh, these, these vast, varied experiences? It's quite clear when you take a a universe, an image of the universe, and you say, or the Milky Way, and you say, well, you know, there we think we are, and we're just a speck of sand in these billions of specks of sand, and our speck of sand happens to be the Earth. That implies, I mean, if you look at that little speck of sand, there's, we're one. We are that speck of sand. So we are, it seems to me, I'd love your comments on this, that we are the eyes, ears, emotions, experiences of the universe itself. We are a little fraction of that, uh, of, of the universe, almost learning itself. It's very fascinating uh, intellectual exercise. But more broadly, it shows us that this energetic force, this universal thing that created us, this the God, the creator source of all things, infinite intelligence, is, is put us into these bodies, not just to pay bills, not just to run and do things and run ourselves ragged, but to connect, to connect deeper with relationships, connect deeper within ourselves. Uh, like our, well, I'm not wearing it now, but we have our logo is a whole series of triangles and it's a geometrical form that shows that you can uh, go forever it never stops infinity to the smallest possible thing and it continues it never stops so if that's the case where are we in this reality it just begs all of these questions and ultimately it comes down how, how do you find the peace and connection that we are obviously supposed to have we have to be social. We need to be social. We need to get together and uh, commune in nature to respect and love and be great stewards of the Bible, especially if you're a Christian. It's all throughout the Bible to be good stewards of land. All these rituals with the animals that you eat, these are very important. And I think they're very important because we have to know and respect what is going into our body. And then we have to know and respect and love uh, the people 
that are worthy of that. Even though we're connected, we have to, uh, some people just have negative energies that we have to stay away from. These are all fascinating topics. And because of that, we dive into those every Sunday about 1.15. And if you stayed with me this long and you're in the local area, we're right on the Louisiana, Texas border on the Texas side, 30 minutes from Shreveport, 20-ish minutes from Marshall. And it is a fantastic place to get to know your food, get to know your neighbors, get to know uh, yourself in a safe, comfortable, wonderful environment so that we can grow together spiritually, commune, pray, and meditate together, and have just a really fun time in fellowship because there's so many activities that are just wonderful to do here and participate in. So thank you for joining me. And we're here every Sunday at 115, and you are welcome. Bring you and your family and just have a fantastic time. Oh, and we always cook, too, and it's always great. So thanks. We'll see you next time.